How to tell if your bees have swarmed. Hello, I'm Griffiths, welcome to Green and Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now, I am trying my best to get around all the sites after being ill for a week. Most of the sites are looking pretty good, but I have lost some swarms, unfortunately. That's just how it goes. If you can't keep on top of these bees, they will go. So, and I've just come up to this hive. Box is full. That's the top super. And on first impressions, you'd say that this has not swarmed. But they have. And it's not superseded, it is swarmed. But they must must have tried swarming when the weather was bad so they couldn't get out and lots of virgins probably were getting close to emerging and they maybe killed the queen off or they tried to go things didn't go to plan and the bees ended up back in the box so we haven't lost any bees here so whatever swarm that came out of this hive can't have been very big or the queen died whatever in cold weather and these bees come back so so how do you tell if the hive is looking this strong how can you tell if they have actually swarmed? Well, it's quite easy. And I'll show you now. So first thing you notice, pull the frame out. We can see some seal brew there. So you may think things are looking pretty good. I'm looking across the frame, I can't see any eggs or open brood at all and they're back filling the middle of the frames there with pollen that is a bad sign that they have swarmed let's see another one seal brood and they're back filling the brood frame here with honey so there's no eggs or lava at all and there's the telltale sign an open queen cell, which tells me a queen, a virgin queen has emerged out. And I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear a virgin queen pipping in there, calling all the other virgin queens in there for a fight. And they'll have a fight to the death in there now, and they'll just be one, hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed, she gets mated and everything is okay. So, looking at this hive, we've got seal queen cells and they're emerging. So these bees, they swarmed last week. That's exactly what happened. Queen cell takes roughly two weeks from egg to hatch out. And they swarm after seven days. So they would have swarmed last week. And me coming around here now, there's no open brood left, only seal brood. And that times it pretty close. That's when they swarmed. I'm just lucky. For whatever reason, I'm left with a box still full of bees. So as long as these get good weather, that new queen gets mated, hopefully they can regain some strength because they are going to lose some numbers. They're going to gain numbers for the next week or two because our brood is going to be hatching through. But from there on then, they're going to be crashing down quite rapidly because there's no bees coming through the system, unfortunately. But... <coughs> If you can't get around your bees, then this does happen, unfortunately. And sometimes, when you're on the ball, and you just can't get around them fast enough for whatever reason, this does happen as well. So, my fault. Now, I have saved that queen cell. Now let's see 
if there is a queen in here. actually a dead queen in there. So what's happened here is the virgin queen got to this cell. Before me. She is a dead queen. Too slow coming out. And the first virgin queen got her. So that's not a bad thing. I quite like it when the first virgin queen hatches out and then kills the other virgin queens because then you don't get cast swarms. There's nothing worse than losing a swarm and that's losing multiple cast swarm after the main swarm. And I don't know why bees do that, because the, the chances of them surviving with the Virgin Queen is next to nothing out there. Uh, I think I've heard a statistic that 60% of swarms die anyway. They fail to actually find a place to make a nest and there uh, they just die out. So I don't know why they strip the box full of bees to go with the Virgin Queen, because uh, they're just going out to die basically. So I quite like a trait within the bee. When those virgin queens emerge, they fight it out straight away, get down to one, get some weather, and they can get mated, and our box can get back to being a full, productive beehive in the fastest amount of time possible. So there you are, quick recap. So how do you know if bees have swarmed? First thing you look for is day old eggs. Can't see day, day old eggs. Are there any brood? If there's no brood, are there any queen cells? Now the trick is, of course, is on your weekly inspections, look for queen cells and interrupt this process before they swarm. That's why I'm down here today and that's why people recommend doing seven day inspections so that does not happen to your bees. Well, that's it for this video. Just a quick one, sharing the good and the bad on this channel. Unfortunately, a bit of bad, but not entirely bad. Uh, as long as we get weather, that hive will recover and hopefully produce a little bit more honey. But nonetheless, that the honey crop from that hive is going to be down. So, bit of damage control this week, get back on top of things and be ahead of the work for the summer. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.